All right. What I want to show is what I proposed we do for our building. Um, apologize for the crude Lego construction, but it, it's the easiest way to illustrate what I'm trying to show, not to scale or anything like that. What we have in our current building is we have two you know, I-beams with a connector beam in here. Here I had to use a hinge, but nonetheless. Um, and we have a basic standing seam, roof over it, gutter system, roof cap, which isn't shown in here. Fairly simple. Over the next, you know, 10 years or so, we'll be adding a lot of tanks, and we need to have easy access in and out of the brewery. Moving canning lines, um, moving other equipment um, isn't a feasible option. We need an easy in-out option. We need to be able to stage our tanks on the outside of the building and lower them simply into the building. With the standing seam roof, it's not feasible to take part of the roof off and then put it back together without having leaks. What I propose is instead, we construct an opening into the building near the, the peak of the roof. We reinforce it with you know, steel between the, the, the primary um, spans, um, keeping the weight down as minimal as possible. And we build up a flange as seen here in the yellow um, with the opening, you know, that's at least a 10 foot by 10 foot diameter. 12 by 12 better, 14 by 14 better. Um, you know, a reasonable size opening, but not excessive, you know. Then what I propose is based on this, we, we build another roof that fits over that raised lip. So essentially another roof that just fits over it. We can have a little over, roof overhang here that so any moisture coming in here um, will hit the peak of the, the, the crest of the roof and drain off to the other side. We can have flanges built up into here. All this can be waterproofed. Um, any moisture that would get in here could hit the, the, the flange, run off to the sides and down. Um, so this here should be a full weatherproof solution. And this just by slipping over it should prevent with enough of a flange here um, should be able to be fixed. This here would we put an eye bolt or, or a two or three or four in there. So that with a, our crane sitting out here, we can just come along we can lift the roof off, set it off to the side, raise and lower our tanks through the hole come back, lift this up, put it over it. it, sits nice and tight right over the flanges, but loose enough that it's not complicated. Um, we can put some retaining bolts or pins through it. And from the from the, the street view, it just looks like a portion of raised roof over it. Um, if we had to, we could do, you know, um, you know, other structural supports in here for the roof assembly with this portion could be insulated. So we haven't lost the building's envelope or the, the insulation of it. Um, you know, and or we could even turn into a skylight and uh, allow for some extra light in the building.